So in this video, we are going to take a close look at a brand I personally never owned before. This brand called Thrustmaster. I personally grew up with Logitech and I've had so many of those different wheels. But recently I acquired myself a Thrustmaster racing wheel and I'm really curious how this will actually play and perform. So that's the thing that we're going to do today. The Thrustmaster T150 is the racing wheel that I wanted to check out today. The racing wheel also is a highly regarded peripheral that brings exciting and realism of racing games at home. But an exceptional build quality, precise force feedback and very interesting extended controls. It has compatibility with PlayStation 4 but also with PlayStation 5. The Thrustmaster 150 when it comes to the design and build quality. First of all this thing weighs quite heavy. That is the thing that I already noticed like unboxing it. 2.9 kilograms for only the racing wheel itself. The racing wheel is a mix of different materials. Mainly the wheel is made out of plastic and at the side we're going to get a rubber compound. Not a big fan of those things because they can get sticky in the future. Beside that we're going to get every single button that we're going to find on the original controller. So we can navigate in the games without touching the controller itself. One of very convenient things. At the back we're going to get very beautiful like shifters. They do turn with the wheel itself so that is not always super convenient. But they just give like a very premium racing feel. And right underneath we're going to get the switch between PlayStation 3 and 4. And we can also use PlayStation 5 that I tried in this video. The body itself is all made out of plastic, but not like in a cheap way. Then we're going to get something quite interesting. There is no adapter because everything is built inside of the wheel itself. And of course the USB connection for connecting it to a console or PC. Underneath we're going to get the option for mounted on a racing, let's say rig if you want to. But in my case I'm going to use the bracket that comes with it. It's the same bracket I've seen many times before with every single Trustmaster wheel that I've checked out on the internet. Nevertheless, it's just a typical way how you need to assemble, but also in cheaper wheels, don't get me wrong. Then the, having the pedals. The pedal, I must say, was quite disappointed and a little bit too basic. I understand the T150 back in the day had a pro model that came with deluxe, including clutch and everything. But with this particular model, I think they want to make it a little bit cheaper. They did, but also we're going to get cheap racing pedals. You can buy different ones from Trustmaster, but it will cost you another, let's say, 150 or even 200 dollars extra. So what I understand of so far I have seen they are all using the same kind of connector. Would not be surprised if you're having an old racing wheel they are all interchangeable and you can use pedals from other models. But again don't pin me on this, didn't try it before. I'm just going to try the pedals that I'm having over here because I just want to see how they are. They have enough rubber feet but they are too small in my opinion. When it comes to the bracket this is just super easy. You just need to put in the bolt in here, tighten it all up and put it on your desk. Hori also has a similar kind of a construction or the cheaper wheels I've reviewed for the Switch. So when it comes to this, nothing special, but it does work very well. And when you're touching the wheel, it does feel very nice without the power on. Nevertheless, this is going to be quite interesting. But let's talk about the force feedback and the performance of the racing wheel. And not to forget how's my personal experience with this. So one of the standout features of the T150 is this powerful and highly detailed force feedback system. The force feedback system is accurately reproducing the road surface texture, car vibration and the tire grip. Providing an unparalleled level of immersion whenever you're drifting around corners or racing and challenging terrains. But one of the games I wanted to try out with the racing wheel is Dirt 5 because this is a super challenging game that requires to have a very good racing wheel that you have the great force, you can feel everything and know what you're doing. Don't get me wrong, I am not a pro at this but I managed to get myself around the corners without any hassle and I noticed the force feedback of the racing wheel was not bad at all. But bringing this to the next level, going to settings with certain games like Project Car 3 you're seeing here, we can even adjust everything, vibration, force feedback, if you want to give this a completely different experience, recalibrate, you name it, you can change it, all out in certain games. This is the final. 
very smooth. But there is an option with Thrustmaster to bring this experience to the next level. Then that is with the Thrustmaster TH8A shifter. It's a versatile and high quality functional accessory designed for racing enthusiasts like me and you, who crave for authentic and immersed driving experience as a standalone shifter or an add-on to compatible racing wheel setups. I must say that this, let's say shifter, you need to double check some of the wheels or basically the cheaper and expensive wheels have the option to use it with this weird looking as video connection. But the, what is very interesting that the gear shifter, everything is metal and this thing weighs by the way ton. Also we have the option to basically upgrade it with this piece of plastic and just make it a quick shifter. Kind of cool to be honest, you need to do a minor assembly, but beside that it's a very cool new way to play. One of the outstanding features of the TH8 is this build quality and that's absolutely fact. The shifter is constructed with a combination of metal and high quality plastic materials resulting in a solid and robust feel. The use of the metal components for critical parts like the gear shift and the eternal mechanisms ensures long lasting durability. I don't know to be honest, I just realized it feels absolutely great and even under intense usage, yeah of course everything can wear out. What I did like is the DIN plugs that you can use, so you can also use it just straight into the PC if you have a certain racing setup or plug it into a wheel like here. I already mentioned you need to do a minor assembly. For that, this thing is quite compatible with a lot of racing wheels including the PC. And I think it's a very cool if you're having the right game and plug and play solution. I think I need to get used to this gear because you also have different kind of gears. Where my normal car I have only 5 of them, here we have even 7 gears if you're going to need it. But in conclusion, if I'm going to play with this thing, this Thrustmaster TH8A shifter is absolutely a great add-on. If you want to have like the full complete experience, you want to have like a real gear shift. With Project Cars 3 on the PlayStation 5, I didn't need to do anything when it comes to configuring. It was absolutely plug and play. It didn't really improve my personal experience because I'm still really need to get used to this game to play. But I can tell you, I really enjoyed myself and it was such a different experience well, when you compare this with my Logitech shifter. Yeah, the conclusion is that the Thrustmaster, the shifter is absolutely, it stands like absolutely beyond the normal shifter from Logitech. But when it comes to the price, there we do have like a differences where we're paying around like three times the price of a shifter, even maybe four times. So with that price tag, sometimes getting closer to the same price I paid for the T150, the question remains, do you really need to have a very expensive shifter like that? You can almost use it on a more expensive wheel, so you can basically bring this thing with you to the next racing wheel. So that's a little bit of an interesting thing, and I'm hoping in the future they will still keep doing this. So when you're looking at the Thrustmaster 250 racing wheel, it's a top tier peripheral that elevates the racing experience to the new height. When you're going to compare this later on maybe, only with a Logitech, I don't know to be honest. It's a different experience. It comes with a slick design, besides force feedback, you have every single control that you need. You can customize some things like with the shifter, but yeah, it's extended compatibility with PlayStation or PC. But I think it's still a very excellent value for the money, especially if you're going to buy it second hand. Thank you all for watching, consider subscribing, let me know in the comments if you have any questions and it would be great to see you in the next video.